guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be ceramic coating our winter wheels before they go on our car. Now before I start the video, you might be wondering three things. Number one, why don't we have any furniture? And the answer is because we spent all the money on mods. Number two, why do I have a hole in my pants? And the answer is the same, we spent all the money on mods. And number three, where's Steph? Well, she's working, so it's just gonna be me in this video. I'm just joking about running out of money. Uh, we have no furniture because they're all out of stock and the couch we've been wanting is still out of stock for another two months so that's why and these pants well i don't really have an answer for that but no it's not because we spent all the money on parts because that would be irresponsible modding and that's not recommended so the wheels we have are the oem sti bbs's from the 2015 to 2017 sti we managed to find a set that was pretty much in pristine condition, no chips, no scratches, no curb rash. The only thing it didn't come with were the center caps, but that's fine, we can take it from our current wheels. So super happy to have these wheels because to be honest, they're my favorite wheels. They look the best, they're the lightest, and they're the easiest to clean, and it'll be even easier once it's ceramic coated. I've already washed these wheels. They've been cleaned with the Gion, I think that's what they're called. Uh, wheel cleaner and Adams polishes. So I bounce between the two products. They're both really good. If you guys use a different one that's just as good, drop it in the comments. But these are the two best wheel cleaners I personally found and I use it on all our wheels. What do we got here? We've got the CarPro Deluxe Sea Quartz ceramic coating specifically for plastic and wheels. I don't know the actual difference between regular ceramic coat and ones for wheels and plastics, but I'm assuming uh, for wheels, it's probably high temperature resistant. And it's from CarPro. You can get it directly from their website, or if you're in Canada, you can get it from carzilla.ca. Pretty fast shipping, fair prices. And we heard that it's pretty easy to apply, so we're gonna give this a shot. Included in the box are instructions. We got the actual bottle of coating. There we go. We got the applicator, which I'm not gonna touch, and a microfiber cloth, which I'm also not gonna touch yet, for I'm assuming either cleaning or actually applying it into the little crevices and whatever. So, pretty simple kit. One thing to remember is even after cleaning your wheels, it's also good to just give a quick wipe down with rubbing alcohol, just to get rid of any dust, fingerprints, uh, watermarks, anything like that before you apply it, so this is what we're going to do. One thing I did forget to mention is gloves. The instruction says it, all the professionals recommend it to wear gloves because you don't want the chemicals to get on your skin. And you also don't want the risk of any fingerprints or oils from your skin getting on the wheels or the actual car that you're coating. So it's always a good idea to get any rubber gloves just so you avoid contact. We got the microfiber on the applicator. Now it's time to actually drip it onto here and we can start applying. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous because I've never done this before. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am. So here we go. So remember how I said I'm not a professional? This is an example. So, apply the one coat on both wheels, but I was supposed to wipe it off after one minute, and let's just say it's been longer than one minute. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. One trick is if you ever do leave ceramic coating on and forgot to wipe it off, you can always just apply another coat, a light coat, and then wipe it off. Um, at least that's what I heard. So we're gonna do that, wipe it off, and it should give it a little bit more shine. Let's do this the right way. So it's time for the second coat on each of the wheels. I've done all of them. For one coat, now it's the second coat. Wheels are looking really good. 
I mean, the, the wheels were already really clean, but I think this takes it up a notch just a little bit. I mean, when the wheels are clean, you can't really tell the before and after, but it does bring up the gloss just a little bit more. And uh, just running my fingers along it, I can definitely feel the, I guess the hydrophobic layer, uh, which is what gives it the water resistance or the water sliding off. So, so far so good. Face is done, barrels are done. So now second coat, repeating the process. But you guys have already seen it, so I'm just gonna speed this up. So after doing the four wheels, I finally got into a groove of doing the coating. And what I found was in the box, it comes with the foam applicator and then four tiny microfiber cloths. Now the instructions does say to, well, at least to the photos, put the microfiber cloth on top of the foam applicator, then pour, drip, you know, a couple drops and then apply it. Uh, and then you gotta wipe it off. Now the problem is, it doesn't say whether to wipe it off with the microfiber included or something else. So what I did was use a foam applicator for the large pieces or the flat faces and then use the microfiber that came with the kit uh, to get into the little crevices with the coating. And then I'll use my own microfiber cloths to wipe it off after. That's what I found that works best for me. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. If you're a professional, let me know. But so far so good. It's looking good, bringing out the shine. We won't know the hydrophobic properties, but we will test that out once the wheels are on the car. So that's gonna be cool because I hate dealing with brake dust. I always like to see my wheels clean. That's my number one pet peeve. So I'm glad we're gonna get it done. Okay, so first of all, thank you for every single one of your support. Steph and I can't say this enough. We're so excited to make content all the time. We love what we do with cars and we love sharing it with you guys through digital content. So thank you. One thing we want to ask is on top of the car stuff that we do relating to Moz, the STI, what would you guys like to see more of so that we can put it on our channel? Because we love doing the cars, but we also want to share our life to some extent because our marriage and our life is just as important as our passion. So we're more than happy to share that with you guys. Let us know if that's something you think would be awesome. The other side of that is, I guess not every video is gonna be a mod just because we'd either run out of money or run out of mods. And that's not fun, either one. So, we wanna put more out there, let us know. The wheels are all done, two coats on each. I was gonna do three, but from what I read, two's actually enough. We're also gonna put on, well, I'm gonna put on, the ceramic wax, this stuff is actually really good. So it's just a simple wipe on, wipe on, wait a couple minutes, wipe off, and we're good to go. So I put some tire shine, and these wheels are actually going on the car today. So we're gonna get them mounted, and you guys will see it right now. All right guys, wheels are on the car. They look super good. I absolutely love these BBSs. So these are the OEM forged BBS wheels. Now someone I just see in the comments said that we should get the OEM wheels from either the previous generation STI or the 2015-2016. So you got it right. Here they are. Now they're not our summer setup, just our winter setup, but I personally think they look so much better because there's more sidewall. They look better, they're easier to clean, they're lighter. I don't know about how much, but I think it's at least lighter by five pounds per wheel. And that's a big deal when you add that together, rotational mass, all that stuff. But I think the car just sits so much better. Super shiny, super clean from ceramic coating. I can't do a water test or hydrophobic test yet, just because it says to wait three days. So, but we'll, we'll test it eventually. I'm sure it'll be fine. If not, then I can always put on more ceramic spray, but I'm really happy with it. Now we just gotta wait probably another four to five months until we can put on our summer setup. I'm super excited because oh, I can't say it anything yet, but we got something coming. And so super exciting. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what content you would love us to make more of besides just the car. Follow us on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe. Steph will be back in the next video. But until then, we'll see you on the next one. Tell me how